in Jerusalem. The Orthodox, the Catholics, Lutherans, Anglicans, and also Oriental Orthodox like Armenian, Syrian, Ethiopian, Copts, visiting each other and congratulating each other for Christmas and Easter. On the Western Christmas, we all meet in the Roman Catholic Church with the Roman Catholic Patriarch. On Greek Orthodox Christmas, which is on the 7th of January, we meet on the Greek Orthodox Christmas. Then, as in Jerusalem, we have still the old tradition of Christmas and Epiphany together, which is represented in the Armenian Orthodox Church. They are the only church that they follow the, the Julian calendar by celebrating Christmas and Epiphany together. We go all heads of churches and congratulate and wish them Merry Christmas. For me, it's more than a protocol. You have to drink a liquor and then get the chocolate and then have a coffee. Only when you meet people face to face and sit with them, you can have really a good relation. I pray that we can meet the challenges presented by the faithful to help them move closer to the love of Christ the Savior and to the enlightenment of his message of peace. When we walk in unity, the fire and power of God will show itself and destroy the words of his enemy. Let us struggle to be of one heart with the heart of Jesus. The words of the Apostle Peter challenges us. Finally, all of you be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Ecumenism is to see the image of Christ in the other church, which, and to see that the other faith, even if they have, you know, differences in theology, difference in, in ethical approaches, but you see the faithfulness for the gospel. And we here in Jerusalem, in our ecumenism, the only thing what I want, to be a witness to my Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. And as such, I cannot do it alone without my other sisters and brothers in the other churches. Yes.